I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's just always so good to be able to talk to you. I want to speak to you about patience. Patience is a virtue. That's right. It's one of the fruits of the Spirit, isn't it? But, you know, I read there that patience actually is concentrated strength. That's what the Oxford Dictionary says. Many of us think that because a man won't speak up or because he's too slow on the, on the take up, that he's soft or he's weak. No, 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 not at all. On the contrary, he's normally a man who's been through fiery trials. Paul was one of those men. He said in Romans chapter 5, verses 3 and 4, I rejoice in my tribulation because tribulation worketh patience. Patience, character, and character, hope. Folks, if you want character, if you want to grow up and you want to have a personality, you've got to be able to go through fire. And those fiery trials will purify you and they'll teach you not to speak so quickly. I'm talking to some people that are struggling with their marriage right now. I just feel the Holy Spirit is impressing upon me to say to both of you, don't be so quick on your answer. Start to think before you speak. Okay? Count to 10 before you respond. Because that's what's happening. You're too impulsive and you're destroying your marriage. You need to exercise patience. Try and understand why your wife is in such a state. Try and understand why your husband is struggling so much. And it's patience that they want. They don't want to be preached at. He's having trouble at work. He comes home and he's getting trouble at home. And you too, sir, be understanding with your wife. The children are struggling at school. They're coming home and they're telling mom and she's trying to deal with it. Patience is a virtue. We as Christians have got to be patient. The, mo the meekest and most humble man they say that ever lived, you can look it up in Numbers chapter 12 and verse 3, was Moses. Moses would have been a very impulsive man when he was young because when he was in Pharaoh's court, he was uh, Pharaoh's adopted son, he killed a slave driver in an act of, of rage. And that cost him. He had to run for his life. But he spent 40 years in the desert looking after his father-in-law's sheep. And that taught him, that's right, patience. And then when he was qualified, the Lord said, right, now go back to Egypt and go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. God didn't use Moses when he was impulsive and a fiery man and had no patience. No, he had to go through some trials first. I want to say to you, don't think that patience is weakness. No, patience is controlled strength. And meekness also is known as controlled strength. Aaron and Miriam thought that they were as good as Moses. That was his brother and sister. They challenged Moses. Moses, because he was a patient man, he did not retaliate. Well, who, who spoke up for Moses? God! He said to Aaron and, and Miriam, he says, when I speak to prophets, I speak to him through signs and wonders. But when I speak to my servant Moses, I speak to him face to face. And with that, he was so angry with Mary, Miriam that he struck her with leprosy. And it was only Moses pleading with God that God healed her. Folks, if you are walking in righteousness before God, you don't need to defend yourself. The Lord himself will defend you. What you need to understand is you have to be in right standing with God. So, if you're doing what God's told you to do, you don't have to explain yourself. Just love people and be patient and God will speak up for you. If there's any young farmers listening to this program, to be an impatient and an impulsive farmer will cost you a lot of money. You need to start to listen and wait and God will give you direction. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.